swipe up to get this Fashion Nova look. Ah! Let's try this again. Jerk cod and jerk halibut. Then I got curry cod, Alaskan cod, excuse me, curry right. coconut, Alaskan cod. And then tonight. I got garlic butter. We got some this is. this is the halibut. The and then I'ma fry this, this with the good old fashioned uh, salt and pepper and fish fry. Now see, I heard Jai wanted to battle. I peeped his little seafood action the other day. I heard he wanted to battle. Let's do it. <laughs> um, I'm doing cabbage too. And my cabbage is so fire. I don't eat the bacon though. <laughs> All right, Bonnie, I hear you talking shit. We got that cheese tortellini with blush sauce. Ooh, you and you, brother, oh girl, you better not talk to me this way. Got my turkey meat fucking grilling up nice, frying up nice. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you all this masterpiece afterwards. And y'all tell Ashanti to show her the chef that's in the back making her shit. <laughs> 99. Uh, uh, uh. All right, y'all. So I am getting ready to make dinner, <clears throat> which is something I don't get a chance to do often. Um, and I'm going to make some enchilada chili and some cornbread from scratch, and this should be interesting. All right, so next here are the ingredients. So I'm gonna use eggs, baking soda, almond flour, coconut avocado um, cooking oil, brown sugar, oat milk, um, Himalayan pink sea salt, earth, this vegan um, butter, and then cornmeal. So that's for the cornbread. And then for the enchilada chili beans, I'm gonna use black kidney beans. I'm gonna use some lentils. I'm going to use a, a red pepper, green pepper, some garlic, some enchilada sauce, some um, organic yeast, an onion. I'm gonna use um, vegetable crumbles because hubby is not eating meat right now. Here's another one I saw that I thought might be interesting. Some green chilies. I got some sprouts corn that's frozen. Um, I think it's called cumin because the other way I was pronouncing it was sounded real crazy. Um, chili powder, paprika, and I have this grapeseed oil to spray in the bottom of my Instapot when I start the meat. So I've just finished with putting my cornbread in. Y'all, please pray for me. So it is in there, in the cast iron, and I try to use all healthy ingredients for the most part. So now I'm getting ready to get into this onion, into these peppers, and to basically chop them all up. Y'all, why did I not know you have to like get all this stuff out of like red peppers and basically like open it up and clean the membrane out? I had no idea that it was that much work. That's fine. That's pretty interesting because like you have to clean it all the way out, like 
all of this white stuff has to be cut out of it. And that is something that I did not know. So I am learning about peppers today, y'all. So Instapot uh, chili was a fail. Evidently, you can't cook thick, starchy things in the Instapot. Mm, wish they had told me that beforehand, but that's fine. Anyways, um, so now I have switched over to a good old fashioned on the stove. Things all the way together, and it's been a mess. So there's that. Okay, bye. Do these. I think this is good for your shoulders, like the upper area. Oh, okay. See. Okay, maybe not. All right, let's try it again later. See you later. Some lunch. We're gonna have some salmon, and is the lunch. You approve? Yes. I'm done. Look at your daughter's looking at you. Stefan, you forgot you had your mask on, and then you. Working on excellence. You work on your on memory skills and I'll work on my laughing skills. Veggies, and I made it pretty quick. These are actually like the frozen bag of veggies. And this, I mean, salmon is such an easy thing to cook. Pretty yummy. It's got garlic salt, a little bit of Lowry's, some pepper, and that makes it a little tricky um, because we also can't have more than 10 people gather in a place which ultimately shuts down restaurants in general um, and allows them to be open for only guys I wanted to talk quickly um, as you know California is in general in a shelter in place and everybody's home for the most part except for um, people that provide essential services um, however, with restaurant only delivery to some capacity, um, this has put such a strain on the restaurant industry in general. I've continuously contacted Congress over and over and over again um, via email um, and through text. I posted about it before um, I posted this. Um, but with that being said, um, Mina Group has, who, who um, Chef Yay. Mike Delicious, I'll post it in the next slide. But thank you all so much in advance and enjoy. And to my Mina family, I love you guys so Respect. much. Respect. Great people. Um, and allows us to keep things flowing so that when we do get to reopen, we're able to go full speed ahead. So order in um, from That's us, right. pick up curbside. If you're in the Bay Area, you won't regret it. The many delivery via... Um, DoorDash and Postmates and curbside pickup only. The menu is fire. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Sorry, I'm mad at um, But what does this do? It satisfies your craving, but it also allows us to keep some people employed. Um, I just want to reiterate that anything that you order is not going to me, to the business, nothing. It's going directly to the employees so that we can feed everyone, keep everyone safe during this time. Um, and I want what I was saying was Mina Group, Chef Michael Mina, my mentor, business partner, so amazing, um, has put together Mina Family Kitchen. So it's bringing together all of these restaurants in one location mm -hmm. um, to be able to provide a couple of our key menu items to you guys for delivery. You guys to know that we are taking the utmost precautions to ensure that you guys are getting the best quality, cleanest food that you can possible. So if you're in the Bay Area, order from us. Love to you all. Yeah, yeah. Stand up. First, I like to mix all the liquid and then put it in with the hash browns so you're not fighting the hash browns to mix it up. It's the can of chicken, cream of chicken, the sour cream, the melted butter, salt, pepper. I'll mix all this, then I'll put it in here, add the cheese, and just a little bit on top. Oh, I'll put the onions in this. You mix it all together and then you put it in the oven for 45 minutes, so you really can't go wrong. <laughs> So I'm mixing up everything with the hash browns. And like I said, when I'm done mixing that, I'll put the cheese in and mix it. And then I just put a little bit extra on top. I mean, it is cheesy hash browns after all. But um, how I defrost the hash browns, I buy a bag of frozen hash browns. And then the night before I'm going to make it, I put them in the fridge. So you're not, you know, fighting with defrosting them. They're, they're good enough. They're still a little, like, cold and icy, but that 16-ounce 
sour cream, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of onion. I just quarter an onion and cut it up, chop it up. And then two cups of cheese, plus a little bit on top. Bam. With it. And then I just do a little more cheese on top. And all right, so as far as the ingredients, you got your pen. It is one big, large bag. I think it's a 30 ounce bag or around that. Frozen hash browns, one can of cream of chicken. One. Okay, so it's in my greased uh, dish. I used the 11 by 14, the biggest one, not the nine by 13. Um, if you do a nine by 13, it might just have to cook longer and not be as, cause you know, it's not as spread out and I don't know. You'll play real cook up in the oven. There it is. Um, I didn't say it was healthy. It's yummy. Comfort food. Right, Bubba? Comfort food? Yeah. Right, Daddy? Yes. Enjoy, guys. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> so we've got Phoenix has um, yellow bunnies with a side of sprinkles. Ooh, Belly's got pink and white. So cute. Now we're going <laughs> to sprinkle it up. Candyman is very meticulous with his Easter egg. I love <laughs> it, though. Check it out. So my cornbread did come out really good. It actually came out soft and fluffy and very moist like cake, but the chili is still an issue. I switched over from a good old pot to a crock pot to try to get these